This is IIHN Kolkata and is the very place where the top 10 finalists will be announced and will go on to complete to finally take the trophy of IIHM International Young Chef Olympia 2019 home. It is eventful in more ways than one because this is the campus from where the IIHM story began. From a modest space that could host just a handful of students to now becoming the most sought after mighty institute. The journey has been fraught with many ups and downs. But through all of this, the institute has always emerged a winner. In the backdrop of the Young Chef Olympiad reaching its fifth season, IIHM marked yet another milestone on the eve of the grand finale, the inauguration of a huge new global campus. State-of-the-art facilities aimed at facilitating synergy with ever-developing technology. The institute is now looking at newer horizons. For the global campus is about the new age, the new age of digital technology. And this global campus is about connecting everyone in culinary, in hospitality, hotel management around the world. It's about bringing nations together and linking us together and linking young people together because they are the future. And the digital age belongs to them. The digital age belongs to the students throughout the world. And to start the whole process off, Dr. Suborno Bose, founder IIHM, signed an MOU with all 50 countries. The motto being to share and exchange the tenets of culinary education with one another. To collaborate and bring home the best of teachings to our doorstep and to share with the rest of the world our vast knowledge and inimitable inherent values of the great Indian hospitality. It's a big moment of uh, pride for all of us. We have been working for two years on this campus and for the last six months it has been quite maddening the way this campus was made. But now we are all very happy and pleased and pr very proud that it has come up quite well. As you can see, it's a very high-tech campus in the heart of the uh, IT sector of uh, Bengal and India. So like electronic complex, so this will be a very uh, connected campus, lot of IT, lot of artificial intelligence, lot of AI, lot of global connect happening through technology. So it's not just a campus of the bricks and mortar for teaching, but it's also a campus where the technology it will be the major engine for the hospitality education which we can do globally. So our students can learn globally the global hospitality and culinary through the technology which we are installed in this global campus. As the celebrations continue, it was finally time for the revelation of the top 10 finalists of Young Chef Olympiad 2019. Clearly a moment of immense cheer for some and heartbreaks for some other. International Young Chef Olympiad uh, is a great opportunity for young chefs. Uh, it makes you experience uh, a lot of things and it's a one-in-a-lifetime experience. It's incredible, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, to represent, <laughs> represent your country is one thing, but uh, getting to the top ten in this fascinating competition is, uh, yeah, over, over the moon. I didn't want to expect to be part of the grand finals, but now I'm here, so I'm, I'm just really looking forward to it, and I'm absolutely prepared to do my best and to just get that plate right. Yeah, I was quite happy that I'm finally in the top 10, and this is the last push, the final hurdle that I'm actually working for, and I just want to go and just complete the whole process of YCO 2019. <laughs> As a part of the celebrations, the contestants were given a night off to celebrate their victory with a traditional dish of choice that they had to make. Something with which they won the hearts of everyone present. I believe that uh, Young Chefs Olympiad is not a competition. I, it's an opportunity for everyone to learn. And uh, uh, it, it's, uh, I would say this evening, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's like an uh, evening of fun and learning. Someone like me uh, who uh, judges competition at global uh, level, uh, naturally first uh, couple of editions you say, you know what, these are students and uh, you can give a little leeway. But now I, I think it's getting uh, tougher and uh, I expect nothing uh, but the best. And I think it's grown leaps and bounds every year. Uh, 
it's just amazing um, how the organization gets better every year and you realize it's still organized by students right students doing all the work um, and all I all I can say is that every year I come I feel I'm taking back a lot more than I'm giving which is a good thing for for an event you know while the food they cooked painted a thousand pictures of the beautiful lands they came from, it was also their attires that took center stage. Rightfully called the United World of Young Chefs, the venue looked resplendent with a classic assimilation of different cultures, languages, tastes, all welcoming every single guest dropping in. Fifty countries three rounds of unimaginable pressure, stress and anxiety to win one of the biggest titles in the culinary world. This is the finale. It is time for the contestants to sharpen their knives and make up their minds about whether they want to go back home dejected or cook their hearts out. I'm so quickly but I need to first and I'm so very oh I need more time it's the fire in my heart you know like let's do this it's the final step to to everything we, we've been training for for a couple of months so we are prepared and ready to go and the final cook-off begins the rule of the finale is simple the efficiency of the chefs will be tested based on how they cook and present a salmon along with a dish of potatoes that complement it. The level of competition here in the Grand Finals is pretty high, I mean, the other competitors are really good, so I think it's going to be a tough choice for the judges to choose a winner. I guess what's important is that I wanted to finish the whole competition in the full, so I want to play every single dish. So I don't want to give up halfway, even though my time was really exceed, uh, exceeded. You know, a little nervous, but once I started cooking, I was like, you know, uh, one thing and then the next one and then the next one. So I. No, I got into my zone. So it was a long two and a half hours, uh, very intense. But I'm um, just pushing and pushing to get there in the end. So yeah, I got there. I'm happy with the result. So we'll just wait to see what happens tonight. And now we are officially at the final closing ceremony. The evening which will decide it all. Heartaches, rejection, joy, excitement, success, failure, all reaching a deafening crescendo as the rehearsals extend into the actual extravaganza. And the final moment arrives. The announcement of the winner of the fifth edition of IIHM International Young Chef Olympia 2019. Young Chef Olympia 2019. France it is. France it is. Hard work, cheer, the bringing together of 50 cultures under one roof, the entire experience. Last one week was not just about winning a competition, but about making friends, learning about each other, and about telling stories through food. I'm so shocked. Just shocked. It's incredible. Really incredible. I'm, I'm very surprised. I, it's, I feel so good, but I'm so surprised, really. As the curtain comes down on this edition of Young Chef Olympia 2019, it is difficult to pronounce what is the one thing that would linger in everyone's memory. 
guess it will be fair to say that it is the spirit of IIHM trying to bring the world together with a singular love for food that will be etched in everyone's mind. And as the contestants and the students of IIHM bid their final adieu, we know that strong bonds have been created, friendships have been forged and the world brought closer. Today was the culmination of almost nine months of hard work and last three months it was like crazy. But today as we finished up in style and grace and we're declaring the results, I think it's absolutely uh, incredible experience. I mean, uh, it's really unimportant which country has won or lost. What is important is that we have been able to bring 50 nations together under the banner of United Chef of Young, young People. So I think that is our biggest achievement, that's our biggest takeaway, that we want to make the world a better place to live, we want to make, make the world connected, so a guy from Zimbabwe can go to Malta, a guy from Malta can go to Spain, and they can work together. So that's bringing the entire culinary fraternity of the young people together. That has been a vision always, and that will be the vision always.